Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. We're the number one reviewer for theatre in the UK and Las Vegas, and this week we're on the road with Romeo and Juliet at the glorious Theatre Royal Nottingham. There couldn't be a better stage to host Romeo and Juliet, a sellout masterpiece by Matthew Bourne. I don't like dance shows. Well, I thought I didn't until I saw The Red Shoes, a show that has still not been surpassed in my 25-year reviewing career in terms of dance. Matthew Bourne is a genius and has an eye and an ear and a heart that makes all of his shows completely unique and a total sellout success. Romeo and Juliet is reimagined, of course. This is the word they're all using this year to destroy very good shows that should have been left as they were. In this case, though, of course, it's reimagined without words. Who needs words when you've got a cast of delicious dancers who can bring this story to life? Huge congratulations to Cordelia Braithwaite as Juliet and, of course, Paris Fitzpatrick as Romeo. Both stunning, both gorgeous, inside and out, and you absolutely believe in their stunningly heartbreaking love affair. It would be unfair to pick anybody particularly out of this cast as they're all incredible. But I have to give nods to Dan Wright as Tybalt, who was brilliant imposing and effortlessly brought the drama to the piece. The entire company should stand proud. What's extraordinary about this cast is there are six local dancers who were invited to audition and stole the show. Quick mention to Megan Alistair, Syrian, Victoria, Jamie and Sua. You couldn't actually tell they weren't part of this incredibly polished cast. Quite exceptional. What is it about Matthew Bourne? Well, he thinks of everything. He puts in a 19-piece orchestra. That glorious noise was just sensational. I don't think I can ever remember a bigger orchestra for any show. That is incredible. We're talking West End numbers on a good day. Most shows now have about four in the pit. This was a full, beautiful sound, which is essential, of course, because this show is a performance of three parts, really. The visual, the audio, and, of course, the physical, which Matthew brings together in a perfect synergy. As for the story, well, we all know Romeo and Juliet. It's a love story that goes wrong and, of course, culminating in a triangle of tragedy. It is incredibly moving and, of course, the dance just adds to the drama. I'm not going to waste any more of your time just to say if you can get a ticket, go and see it. To be honest, it's sold out in Nottingham. It only has a week to go in Newcastle. I'm sure it will be back on the road in 2020. It deserves to be Romeo and Juliet, the timeless piece with music by Prokofiev. Of course, the big number is Dance of the Nights, which is played throughout. Most famous, of course, on a night when The Apprentice launched on BBC, we were sat in the Theatre Royal, enjoying it majestically brought to life by a 19 piece orchestra at the Theatre Royal. Just glorious. Congratulations to Matthew and the entire team. This is a show of energy, precision and discipline. The guys dance this show like it was their first and last performance. And that is what's magical about pros. They give everything. And tonight, the standing ovation said it all. The fact there wasn't a spare seat in the house is undeniable and a testament to the brilliance and star power of Matthew Bourne, whose name is a guaranteed great night out. I also love the fact that we're in the pub by half nine. Less is more. Matthew understands audiences and knows exactly when to start, middle and end a scene. His ability to play to drama with lighting is of course sensational and picking the right person for the part is of course where this man soars above the rest. Congratulations to Matthew and the entire team of Romeo and Juliet on tour throughout the UK through 2019. I'm sure it'll be back in 2020 and we were delighted to see it at the Nottingham Theatre Royal. Hardly worth giving it a plug because it is almost completely sold out. Congratulations to all involved. You've been listening to another sellout review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da.